Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm about to react to and review episode 1 of season 11 of RuPaul's Drag Race. This one's called Whatcha Unpacking. And um, I'm eating right now Burger King because obviously I want to die. Um, but yeah, if you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, um, and be sure to watch my review of the last season of All Stars as well, season 3. So let's get into it. Ooh, they starting that off with this video too. Oh wait, let's look at her outfit. I want to see what hoes walk in this door, because I don't want them to know I'm here just yet. This Miss Nina West. I like that outfit. I'm the first one. I am the first one. I have taken my influences from. She is so crazy. It looks good on her. I give it a seven. Get ready, y'all, because this sugar is so sweet. Mm. I'm Sugar King. I'm 24. And I'm from New York. I do not remember him being that dark in all his pictures. Why is he so dark? All his other videos, he was pictures he was like. I don't like the hair, but I really like the outfit. I'm just really going off of how dark he is. Because I saw his past pictures and he looked really, he looked white. Vanjie is crazy. Pasty. I like to describe my dress like three P's. He looks like he's straight out of BTS. Is that racist? I can already see Plastique is gonna be like top five, top three, maybe the winner. Very fishy. Turned twenty one last month. I could be your grandmother, girl. Banshee is a crazy. That's not nice. Oh, Kenya. Oh, I thought she was from uh, Morocco. I didn't think she was going to come through like that. She looked good. Ooh. I give it a eight. What is up with the contour? My name is Scarlett and. I am Southern Beauty and New York City Great. The hair. She could have did without that contour. It looks crazy. Venus with penis. She reminds me of Blair. She looks like Blair in 20 years. Blair St. Kitts. I'm Honey Davenport and I'm New York City's crown jewel. Like Honey is like my pre-show favorite so far. Her, who exceeds limits. He's so, so cute. Ago, was an show. Is like, Vanjie oh, really three, back one, there? I think I'm gonna like her. Oh, okay. I thought it was a little car. I can't see the outfit. I like the hair. I like the jacket. Is this Brooklyn? Never fear. The queen of the north is here. Now this is what dreams are made of. Yeah. I'm Ariel Versace and I'm 26 years old. Ariel is basically like if Lisa Frank threw up on a drag queen. That's me. Lisa Frank? I love Lisa Lisa Frank. Read all about it. Drop it or have it to the house. Over. 
This head is so skinny. That's a creative uh, dress, and I like the hair. Two strikes. So many girls on this. Kana's favorite look is rhinestones can be for pretty girls. I don't like that. Okay, she's Coco Matrice's daughter. She got a reputation to live up to. Let's see if she lives up to Where is she? Is that it? Don't talk in front of the fight. Hello, Yorobun. I'm Soju, your K-pop drag princess. Not only can I look pretty, but I can also kick ass. The other one was giving me more K-pop. I always love to bring Plastic. Korean into my... Girl, be quiet. Mm. I hope they Vogue again, like do the runway thing like last season. I like that. <clears throat> I didn't really rate their outfits and I don't really feel like rating them so I feel like I, I spoiled a lot for myself because I watched a lot of the interviews they have at least like 10 different specials out 10 different like interviews or videos on them so so I kind of already got their personality got to look at their personality but um so far because I did see a slideshow of how they looked out of drag and I was like ooh. but for some reason on the show like in their interviews they look way more feminine than they do than they did on the slide that I saw. At least Ariel is it Akira, Raja. Yeah, and that's it. And then and then uh Sugar Cane looked super dark, super tan, not even like orange tan, like brown tan. When I saw his pictures he was like white. And then in the interview he's like brown. He looks weird. Yeah, just from some of the interviews, my favorites have been uh, Honey, Sugar Cane, Vanjie, of course, uh, Evie, Oddly. Yeah, Honey and Sugar Cane both seem very, very sweet. And then Evie is just like my type of style, just weird. Yeah, and yeah, so far, I mean, as far as the entrance looks, I think the best was in between i thought mercedes looked really good and i've not really seen it for her. i wasn't really seeing it for her in the interview she just seems very quiet and kind of in the background but i really liked her look nobody really stood out just her rajas was okay i mean her earrings came out both of them but it was very creative it was different i liked her hair silky nutmeg whatever i don't know her name i liked her hair in her makeup i couldn't really see vangie's outfit and i didn't like ariel's i didn't really like i can't i know everybody's name except for the queen that has like the red hair she reminds me of blair st Clair, but like an older blair st Clair. um i didn't like hannah's look yeah i don't I didn't really like their looks. I want to see their first uh, challenge. Their, you know, there's always a photo shoot challenge on the first episode. I really, really, really liked season 10's uh, challenge where they walked, um, they did the runway and they were voguing. I like that was so funny. The past queens were hilarious. So hopefully they have something similar. Scarlet Envy. Scarlet this is definitely the season of chess contours. You have to Throw it away. Their outfits are similar. That's not too hard to do. Oh, Manila is on. My drag niece in law. How about that? Oh, Rest well, in peace, Sahara Davenport. Well, there's a standard rating charge. It's a situation. <laughs> Both hands up. And I'm just going to test her vision whether I'm actually visible. She's a girl, turn around. Ooh, on China. Okay, we're here. OG Triple OG. And a gentle queen. So neat, plastic, plastic, so neat. Oh, we haven't seen so neat in forever. Soju and pork chops. <clears throat> this is so random. And Eureka. Who's the beauty? Who's the beast? 
Is that a real question? Bitch, I will beat your motherfucking And Raven. So you're going to feed her. Raven? Girl. I see that as blackface. In any particular way? Uh, no, I'm sure now. Just make yourself at home. No, somebody needs to be in the driver's seat. <laughs> she getting the shady edit. Shahana my trees. And Karen Barrett. Because <laughs> we were so in love with Beyonce. Uh, uh, she uh, finally got the drag oh, eyebrows. And Kimora Black. Oh, I was just looking at one of her videos yesterday. Oh, Is she sponsored by Sophie Chanel or something? Nash and Mariah Balenciaga. Oh, Sophie is <laughs> she, Mariah should have been magazine, pouring her drink. What's the story in this book? Take Levy charge. Ooh, that's a nice picture. Evie Oddly and Adore Delano. Oh, Adore. <laughs> I need you to be. What are you mad at? I'm mad at the lack of olives. They're not even stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> That was a weird one. Who won? Evie or Silky? Silky Nutmeg mm -hmm. Nah. You are the winner of this week's mini challenge. You've won. Like I said, I really, really, really liked um, the photo shoot challenge from season 10 a lot. I really wish, I feel like they should just do that every season. I don't really care. Um, but this one was okay. I mean, I don't know. Like, I almost feel, how many, they have about 15 queens. I was like, they almost could have brought back all the past winners when you think about it, because there's been 10 winners. And then there's been, yeah, and then there's, uh, we had three all-star winners for season one, two, and three. And then we have two for season four. So that would have been great if they had a past winner pose with each one of the girls but no they couldn't they they would have been able to invite tyra because tyra tyra don't have a good a good relationship with uh drag race so hmm. yeah it was just okay um so far yeah i was gonna say silky i still can't get her name it's silky nutmeg ganache silky took charge but i felt like mariah was the focus of that picture like your attention goes to her she was giving face so i say silky did well, Evie did well. So far, Mercedes is not doing too well, and, and the same with uh, Raja. Her earrings keep on falling off, so. <laughs> so now the queens have to take off the makeup to see how they look out of drag. Is this gonna be their challenge? Using only the junk inside these mm. trunks. That's different. Lucky for you in the mini challenge. Is that so Laganja's? Laganja. I'm gonna give Garlet Violet Chopsky. Also known as Violet Chopsky. Right. <laughs> to Kiria Davenport. Oh, right for Kevin. You're gonna get this trunk, baby. <clears throat> Someone's buying for their own spin-off. Peak game. Right, thank you so they don't really need to run, they each have a trunk. She's here to make her screen time rather than working on her garment. Mm -hmm. Making her way around the workroom, doing all of her saying boom cat cat that she's been doing since she walked into the door. You'll get a couple of minutes. You'll get a couple of minutes. She can go home with all that. Attitude check! Silky, get it together. Get it together. A spinoff? Did she say she was gunning for a spinoff? Who? Nobody has even gotten a spinoff off of RuPaul ever. Whether they were a great competitor or had a big personality, nope. Nobody has gotten a spinoff. So I don't know what she's talking about. Um, I mean, unless you want to say like uh, Alyssa has a Netflix show and things like that, but she's annoying me. Yeah. <laughs> I know this is gonna sound ignorant, but I just feel like she might have like an unfair edit right now. But I feel like only certain people can get away with what she's doing, and she's not one of those people who can get away with being annoying. Really, nobody can get away with being annoying on the show, so she needs to simmer it down. This challenge is okay. I mean, obviously, they basically have to mix their own style with the trunk that they um, that they received. Um, hopefully they just don't look, hopefully it doesn't end up being like replicas of the past queens and their looks. Um, 
But yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what's going to happen. I mean, so far, based on the interviews that I saw and the bring it to the runway, runway, run, 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 run runway, that, and then so far what we've seen in this episode, I don't think Soju is going that far. I don't think Mercedes is going that far. I love me some VNG, but I don't think she's going to go that far. Um, I don't think Nutmeg is going to go far and then Raja is just in the middle and Honey is in the middle. Top to me so far, I think Akiria, I don't know if I'm saying her name right, Akiria, Plastique, Brooklyn, and maybe um, Sugarcane. Kahana is more on the low end for me. Ariel is in the middle. I definitely don't see Mercedes going that far or Soju. <laughs> Black Ink Crew. Ugh. Ugh, ugh. I just I wish they would have took this whole show from Caesar after what him and and uh, Teddy did to what's his name Alex. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> I just want Vanjie to make it at least three episodes in. Oh. So within that nine years, you should have learned how to sew. <sighs> Should have gave her some contacts. I think with the glasses, she does look kind of unrecognizable. I've never understood like why the queens on the show, like why do some of the queens come on the show without knowing how to sew or knowing how to dance or knowing I don't I don't know how to perform. I, I don't know. I don't get it. Uh, Silky seems really confident about her, so I don't really care for it that much. It kind of just looks like a big like blanket. This is very behind the scenes. If carries mic, if you can fix that app. Pop. It's down here. You might have to go from the bottom. Come here. Come here. Take care of it. Come here. I'm out. Wait a minute. That was funny. That was funny. Freaking Silky took her. I'll throw you home. I'm going to betray her, dude. Ariel is very fishy out of there. No little phrases and one liners from the judges. Because they gotta speed it up. It's a lot of queens. <sighs> what is Rue wearing? Come on. Is my TV messing up? Sasha Valor. Oh. It looks good on her. It's not really giving me Sasha. Uh, seven. Detox. She made that? Uh, seven. Bindula Krim. Yeah, that gives me Bindula Krim. It's very church. I wish the skirt was a little, the dress was shorter. Six. Yeah, poison ivy, that's what I was thinking. Five. Alaska. I love whatever's on her head. Yeah, she looks like Bridget Barbie. <laughs> it reminds me of Manila's plastic look a bit. Um, I don't Six. The hair looks weird because it's like it definitely looks like three different pieces. I don't like the hair. Look is okay. Six. Violet. Yeah, she reminds me of Blair. <sighs> Six. And that was based off of the traditional Korean dress. The makeup is kimchi, but other than that, that's giving me Vanji from episode one of season ten. <laughs> I don't know what I would give that five. Who is it? I like the boots. It's all right. Six. Not giving me Bianca. She should have did the eyebrows bigger and like the makeup more bolder. That's not giving me Bianca at all. Four. 
That's not giving me Sharon at all. Four. Oh, come on. Come through. Valentina, yeah. The hair. Yes. <laughs> I like that. That's my favorite look so far. I love the hair. Come on, Miss Vanjie. I give her a nine. Peppermint. Five. Dorji Thor. What is that one there? Ooh, season 11. Five. <sighs> Four across the board. <sighs> I don't know what that was. I get it. I'm not a fashion guru. I don't know anything about sewing. Don't know any of that. But that was like one of the worst runways I've ever seen on RuPaul's Drag Race. I, I didn't really like any of them. <laughs> I liked, I liked Banji and I'm really proud of her. She did really well. Hopefully the judges see it for her because that's like a, a big step up from uh, last season. So I really liked the hair. It was really giving me Valentina but still giving me Miss Banji. So I liked hers. I, think, I forgot who she got. The dress was, it was nice. It was crafted very well or it, I guess I just say crafted. It was crafted very well. Um, she's definitely talented in that department. I just say Plastique and Valentina. I don't know, I almost got like a, a fashion on a budget with this um, runway, like from Evie and um, Kahana. It really, and, and, and um, Silky. I was really getting fashion on a dime from them. The Curia, to me, the, what threw me off is the hair. It just really seemed like it was like three different pieces. I don't, they were all the same texture, but something just seemed off like they didn't connect well. Raja was just in the middle, Honey was in the middle. I don't remember what area wore. Oh, okay, yeah, hers was just in the middle. Yeah, I didn't really see it for anybody. Nobody really wowed me, except for VNG. So who's in the top, who's in the bottom? The top two, if I could pick the top two and the bottom, plastic and Banji. Bottom, Mercedes. I don't know how they're gonna feel about Soju's outfit because I know she said there was like no waist because it was based on a traditional Korean dress. So she was like, no padding, no waist, but the judges might not like that. So I might have to look again, Mercedes and Soju. Maybe even Kana. It literally doesn't tell us a story. Did you not learn from Banji? You get one chance. Oozes out of you in a different way from me. <laughs> <laughs> Nina, what are on your feet? What are those? Nina West, even though that dress looked like a rare blood disease, <laughs> we got distracted by the personality. Nine times to be here. It's just such a shame that I'm really classy. I don't know you're not talking about class. Miley Cyrus. Now we're really getting to see what the girls are bringing. Because I wasn't sure. Like I said, you know, I've watched the interviews and I kind of felt like Mercedes was in the background a bit. Kana was in the background a bit. But then Nina, I thought that she was really going to bring it. But we, I see that she didn't. Yeah, like, like Carson said, that dress is like a... a, a blood disease of some sort. I don't even know what those little things were on it. looks disgusting, but Banshee to me is the winner. I love the hair, I love the outfit. Yeah, I think it's between her and Brooklyn, maybe. There's a lot of bottoms. I don't, I don't know about Nina. I don't, like they were saying, the thing with her is that the dress was bad, but the personality was there. And then Mer Mercedes, the outfit was bad and the personality wasn't there. She was looking down. So I think she's in the bottom. And then there's Soju and there's Kana. Between the two, I think that Kana should be in the bottom because that outfit was just bad. So was Soju's, but Kana's was worse. So I think it's gonna be, and Nina, they, like I said, it's, her personality was there, but she's also been doing this for nine, or she's been trying for nine years. I don't think like that, I'm not sure if that plays a part. It shouldn't, but it kind of should, so. 
I think she's gonna be safe. I think bottom Soju and Kana top is Vanjie. Vanessa Vanjie Mateo. Winner. You're safe. Oh. Thank you. I guess Brooklyn? Brooklyn. Plastique. Or Plastique. You're safe. Oh, Brooklyn. <clears throat> Brooklyn. This week. The makeup is nice. Heights. Congratulations. You are the winner of this week's challenge. I like Vanjie's look more. A seven night stay in Paris. Including a luxury. What? Oh, Vance, you should have got that. In my opinion. Nina West. Safe, 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 safe. You're safe. Oh. On the runway, you ran out of gas. <laughs> got a one arm bandit, but you did not hit the jackpot. <laughs> You're safe. <gasps> Who's gonna win in the lip sync? I think Kahana's gonna win in the lip sync. Kahana Soju's going watches. home. Kahana's heels are so small. Soju is like falling over her dress. We know who's staying, who's going. She almost didn't make that clip. <sighs> I'm glad that's over. Kahana, Shantae, you stay. Kahana Montrese. Shantae, you stay. So much. Yeah. Sashay away. Thank you. <sighs> My sister. God. Okay, so that was the season premiere of season 11 of RuPaul's Drag Race. This season, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not getting a good feeling. This episode was just okay. The runway was just okay. To me, Vanjie should have won. I, I loved her look all the way down um, from the hair to the outfit to the makeup. I thought it was a great a step up from obviously her season. I thought she should have won. But um, Brooklyn also did well. It just didn't it didn't wow me. Like I said before, I saw multiple interviews and little specials with the queens before this. And you know, I got to see their personalities, who was the loudest, who wasn't. And um, but even then I was like, this still doesn't give me like a good um, visual or whatever about how the girls are gonna bring it. Cause like I said, Nina's kind of seemed more of a powerhouse in the interviews and then seeing her seeing her runway was like below average the same with Mercedes like obviously she was in the bottom but I did really like her entrance outfit I mean it's, it's a lot of queens so they're not all going to have the spotlight and the attention on them so we're gonna see that later on but right now obviously Silky is the main like this the the main topic of the conversations she's the spotlight's all on her. It's very annoying. I know this might sound weird to certain people who are very like shallow when it comes to race and ethnicity, but it kind of made me think about like when I thought about Miss Vanjie, Vanessa Mateo, I just kind of thought like she's kind of like the Cardi B of Drag Race right now where she's like a Latinx woman. She does the whole around the way banshee ghetto thing and people love it and it kind of made me think about the fact that a lot of black queens can't get away with that stuff, you know, and, and, and outside of drag, like a lot of black women can't get away with that. And especially like when we think of Cardi B, the fact that like people kind of accept that kind of like ratchet behavior from her, but they wouldn't necessarily accept that from like a Remy Ma or like a Nicki Minaj who, you know, some people say she she's not really like ratchet. She kind of does like around the way, she gives you like around the way hood vibes versus Cardi is like very much in your face, very much yelling at the camera and people love it. And it's not something that people really accept when it comes to like black women, especially dark skinned black women. And I kind of felt the same way with Silky versus Vanjie. Like obviously it's not all the way the same because Vanjie is funny. Silky's sometimes funny as well, 
but so far she's she's being very annoying and I don't know if she's necessarily getting that like annoying edit because if we want to keep it 100 if the producers wanted to ignore her and keep her in the background it wouldn't matter how loud she was they could edit her out they can make it seem like she's in the background but I kind of feel like she's getting that like this is the annoying girl of the season edit I mean especially if the other girls are talking about her but it just made me think about the fact that I don't know if she knew Miss Vanjie was going to be on this season and I don't know if she was like hey I gotta outdo her but it's like not only are you black not saying that's a bad thing but I'm just saying like people don't respond the same way to black people like they do Latinx people or non-black people and it's like uh not not only are you black you're also overweight <laughs> and so people are not going to tolerate like that loud annoying personality like I feel like they would it like they would if she looked like um not so juicy she looked like plastique or if she looked like sugar cane or even if she looked like if she looked like Vanjie I don't think like people don't tolerate the annoying personality but they tolerate it more for certain people and in my opinion with non-black people and with uh, skinnier people so she needs to tone it down but it just made me think about you trying to have that loud ratchet personality is not gonna do you any good um, no matter how cool of a person you are you're gonna look like they're gonna make you look really stupid and it just makes me think with the black queens when you really look back most of them are not quote unquote what, what you want to call like ratchet or anything Monet wasn't ratchet Asia uh, Kennedy in my opinion Jasmine none of them Sahara Tyra none of them were like that and I think they know and the queens that are on this season know that 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 personality that ratchetness doesn't work for black queens like it does for non-black queens and they almost have to keep it classier they have to be 10 times classier um and well spoken or whatever to be seen or to be accepted versus like like a vanchi you know and i don't think silky she's not gonna be able to get away with like the loud personality she also needs to to tone it down because she said something about getting a spinoff like girl you're not getting a spinoff nobody's getting a spinoff who has a spinoff from this show nobody has like a rupaul's drag race spinoff now if you want to talk about another show even then there's only a little bit of queens that have that and they are top notch and that's bianca and that's Alyssa, and that's bob and you not you're not up there so but yeah i just don't really see it for this season like I said before, I saw the queens outside of drag before this, and um, they looked really good, but then with their interview looks, they looked so different from the pictures I saw before. Um, like I was saying, um, Raja looks different than, than the picture I saw, um, Ariel looks different, Akira looks different. I don't know what's going on with, with Sugar Cane what happened in that interview room he is dark he's like my complexion where did that come from i don't understand but it is funny because when i did see his bring it to the runway runway i thought that he was gonna be like a light-skinned black guy you know but when i saw his pictures i was like oh he's he's white and then i see him in the interview thing he's brown <laughs> and then on the show he's orange <laughs> I don't know I don't really have anything to say so far my favorites just from this episode have been um Vanjie, Evie, Evie Oddly, um Honey. Honey when I saw Honey I was like oh okay Honey looks good out of drag to me Honey looks the best out of drag um, so hopefully you know Kana can bring it better right now I'm thinking Mercedes is, is not gonna do too well Kahana Nina is too much in her head it's like girl you you've been waiting nine years probably nine plus years to be on this show and you don't know how to sew and you're doing all this extra stuff it's like you need they should have better prepared themselves before they got on the show that's all I'm gonna say so anyway if you like this video like comment and subscribe tell me what you thought of this episode uh, what was your favorite outfit favorite runway look who's your favorite so far who do you think's gonna be like top five who do you think's gonna be in the bottom right now i'm calling it plastique brooklyn and akira are gonna be in, in the top so anyway 
and thanks for watching